So before you start a Shopify store in 2026, there are a few things beginners should really understand. Because the difference between people who enjoy Shopify and people who get overwhelmed usually comes down to how they approach those first few days. A lot of beginners open their free trial thinking the platform is either going to be way too technical or way too simple. And the truth is, it's neither. Shopify in 2026 has become one of the most approachable platforms for beginners, but it still helps to know what to expect before you dive in. When you first land inside the dashboard, the thing that catches most people off guard is how clean and organized everything feels. Shopify doesn't throw you into a complicated mess of settings. Instead, it gives you a layout that feels like a natural workspace. Products sit in one place, your design tools sit in another, and your analytics are right where you'd expect them. Even if you've never touched an e-commerce platform before, the structure makes it surprisingly easy to understand what to do next. Shopify for Beginners has evolved into something that guides you without making you feel like you're being handheld. One of the biggest advantages beginners overlook is how much help exists when you need it. Anything you get stuck on, absolutely anything, has already been explained on YouTube by someone who walked through the exact same issue. Whether it's customizing a homepage, setting up payments, editing your store design, or connecting a domain, you can search it and find a step-by-step -step video within seconds. It makes the learning curve feel way less intimidating because you're never sitting there thinking, what do I do now? You always have a solution within reach. But if there's one thing beginners need to hear before starting, it's this. Shopify rewards momentum, not perfection. The biggest mistake new store owners make is trying to make everything flawless before taking any real action. They jump between themes, rewrite product descriptions endlessly, tweak small design details, and get stuck in this cycle of polishing instead of actually building. The stores that grow fastest are usually the simplest ones at the beginning. What matters most is getting your store functional, getting your products added, and letting the experience shape your next steps. Shopify gives you the flexibility to improve as you go, and that's why it works so well for beginners. The question of cost is another thing people stress about, but here's the honest part. Once you get your first couple of sales, the plan stops feeling like a bill and starts feeling like the price of running something real. Shopify doesn't promise success, but it gives you the foundation to build toward it. And when you're inside the dashboard, adding products, customizing your storefront, and seeing your site come to life, that's when most beginners realize they can actually do this. The fear drops, the process starts making sense, and the platform finally feels like a tool rather than a challenge. So before you start your first Shopify store, know this. You don't need experience and you don't need the perfect idea. You just need to be willing to take the first step and let the process guide you. Shopify was built for beginners who want to build something real, and 2026 is one of the best times to do it. If you want to try Shopify yourself and explore everything inside the dashboard, you can click the link in the description to start your free trial. And if you enjoy these breakdowns, you're welcome to subscribe. And giving the video a quick thumbs up really helps support the channel.